All right, I'm back, and it's Wayne Gucci. I'm a Gucci from Lake Michigan Hills Golf Club in Benton Harbor, Michigan. Now, in the last video, what I talked about was the punch drill. And one of the things in the punch drill, I had you work it from where your elbows were touching your body. And obviously, we're not going to try to swing the golf club and keep our elbows locked into our body. So what I want to talk about today is the function of the right arm and extension. Now, when you watch all these guys swing, you're going to notice there's extension in their swing. Their left arm is pushing away, and it's fairly straight. Well, what's actually making that happen is the extension of the right arm, because the right arm has a, almost a fairly straight line in the golf swing also. So let's try a couple of drills here. Now, it's a lot easier to keep the left arm straight by extending the right arm. So here's the first drill is I'm going to have you take your right hand, put it under your left forearm. And as we swing back, we're going to push the left arm up and away from our body with our right hand. So now you can see I've got a lot of extension. I'll do that same drill with a golf club in my hand. And you notice how I get fairly good extension out of a pretty wide arc. Actually, for a short guy, I'm trying to get it as wide as I can. So you'll notice it. All I'm doing is pushing my left arm up with my right hand and keeping my arms extended away from my body. Now that's the first drill I can give you. The second one is old classic drill, one I've been using for a long time, is a split hand drill. You notice when I'm gripping the club, I've actually got about a hand's width between both of my hands. Now, the same feeling is I want to be pushing this right arm up and away, because I'm going to get the feeling that I'm pushing my right hand up and sometimes it works a lot better if I do it with my hands split and getting the feeling of holding up here. Both drills have the same, same motion. Now I'm going to take this split hand drill and extend it a little bit further. And it's a great way to feel the rotation of the club, similar to what we do in the punch drill. But we swing back, and the right hand just comes up. I just push it down, and you can see how the hands just flip over. Just like in the punch drill, when I do this, I want my forearms to touch on this side of the club. So it's a great way to feel how your hands work separate of each other in the golf swing. Now, one of the things I want to use a split hand drill for is one of the dangers we get into is teaching the golf swing. We're gonna teach a series of static positions where I'm gonna teach you the takeaway, then the back swing, then the first move down, then just before impact, get you into impact, release, follow through, then your finished position. The split hand drill is a great drill for getting a feel for the whole swing. This is something I recommend you all do, is that you make a lot of free arm swings. And what I mean by that is, remember, it is a golf swing. It's not a series of static positions that we're trying to get to. We just move through those positions. Positions is practice. But when we get a ball in front of us, I don't want you thinking about making little stops and trying to maintain position, but just keeping the club flowing through the golf ball. So it's a great way to loosen up too. And I'll take this one step further. It's a great way to build up some strength in your golf swing is to actually take two clubs and just swing them real easy and it'll get you a feel for swinging through the ball a little bit more. And it's a great warm up drill before a round of golf. So, do a quick review. And the first drill we're going to work on is putting our right hand under our left forearm. As we swing back, just feel the right hand pushing the left arm away from the body. We can also do that with a club in our hand just to get a feel for the extension in the golf swing. And the second drill, we just want to do it just like we're doing the punch drill. We're going to split our hands, just practice swinging the club back and forth. And what you're going to start to feel is how your hands actually work in the golf swing. And as I'm doing these shorter swings where I'm going about waist high to waist high, I want to feel my forearms touching at this point. Now. This is a great way to practice pitching. Probably one of the more basic swings you're gonna do. It'll help your short game a lot. And then the other thing we wanna do is make sure we take some full swings. Just get used to making a full motion in the golf swing. 
So this is a great drill to work on, the split hand drill. And I recommend highly that you consistently practice making a full motion in your golf swing. You can work on the positions, but once you get that ball in front of you, it's just one single motion. So I'm Wayne Gucci, I'm a Gucci, Lake Michigan Hills Golf Club. And that's the third video, the function of the right arm and extension in the golf swing. So I'll look for you in the next video and you have a great day. Hit it straight.